Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crash dump error or crashing and freezing issue with Football Manager 2021 game on your Windows PC. Now the first step is to restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Still you're facing the problem, then allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus running on the computer, make sure that you allow the game exe file and then try to launch the game. In case if you're using Windows security, then go to start menu, then click on settings, go to update and security, and then click on Windows Security, then click on Virus and Threat Protection, scroll down and at the end you will see Ransomware Protection, click on Manage Ransomware Protection and then click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access, click on Yes to Allow and then click on Add an Allowed App and then click on Browse All Apps and then go to the Game Installation Folder, open the Steam Folder, Steam Apps Common, open the Football Manager 2021 Folder and then select FM21 EXE file and then click on open. And once the game is added, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now, the next step is to perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In, I already did it. In your case, it will be highlighted. So click on disable all then click on apply, then click on OK and then we restart your computer. Also turn off Steam Overlay, for that open Steam, make a right click on the Football Manager 2021 and then select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then try to launch the game. Also make sure that you close all the other overlay application which is running on the computer. So if you have GE Force running on the computer, close GE Force. If you have Discord running, close Discord. Make sure that you exit the Discord from here. And if you have any overclocking application which is running on the computer, so if you have MSI Afterburner, close it. If you have Revertuner, close it. So make sure that you close all the overlay and overclocking application on your computer and then try to launch the game. Also make sure that you close all the background applications. So make sure that you close everything except the game and the Steam. And you can open Windows 10 settings and then type in background application and click on background apps and make sure this is off. The next step is to run the game as an administrator for that go to the steam make a right click then click on manage then click on browse local files and it will take you to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file make a right click and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok and then try to launch the game from here and that should go ahead and fix the problem the next step is to uh, is for laptop users with dual graphic card so make sure that you're running the game on the dedicated graphic card so make a right click on the desktop click on nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings then click on program settings then click on add So click on add over here and then select the game exe file from the list. So select the game exe file if you find the game exe file in the list. Now in case if you don't find the game exe file over here, in case if you don't find the game exe file, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder, open the steam folder and then open the game folder and select the exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here select high performance nvidia processor from here and then click on apply if you have amd i don't have amd so in that case you can just type in graphics settings in windows search click on graphics settings and then click on browse and again go to the game installation folder Select the game exe file, then click on add. And once the game is added, click on options. Select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to uninstall the graphic driver. So uninstall the graphic driver which is installed right now on your computer. So you can go ahead and type in apps and features in Windows search box and open apps and features and scroll down and uninstall your graphic card driver from here. 
So here I can see NVIDIA graphics driver. So click on uninstall and after the uninstall, once the uninstall is done, restart your computer and then go to NVIDIA website to do a clean installation of your graphic card driver. So make sure that you after the uninstall, you restart your computer and then go to this website, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from here. Make sure that you select your graphic card, then click on search and then click on download. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file, then on this screen, click on agree and continue, then select the custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the driver is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to update your Windows 10 to the latest version. So go to the start menu, then click on settings, then go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to verify the game file. For that open Steam, make a right click on football manager 2021 and then select properties. Go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once that is done, try to launch the game. Now if nothing is working, then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game. So if the game file has become corrupt, you can go ahead and uninstall, delete all the game files, then restart your computer and then reinstall your game once again. So one of the steps should definitely help you to launch the game successfully on your computer and that should go ahead and fix the crashing issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.